Hey everybody, it's Chris Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. Today, I wanna to talk to you about, I forgot my microphone, I had moved over. Um, today, I wanna to talk to you about not forgetting to gift um, sports tickets and points and other things like that um, if you are in that kind of a game. Um, before we get to that, though, I wanna remind you as always, if you uh, have questions about this or anything else related to probate or estate planning and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, so I uh, did a uh, signing for some clients this morning, and one of the things that they had us working on was uh, they own Seahawks tickets, like these founders tickets, which are like legit, top of the line, amazing um, tickets. I think, I don't know, I don't know when you get the founders tickets, but I'm, I think you got those tickets like when they were building the stadium, you make some sort of a pledge or you make a gift or you do something and then like you get these founder seats. And what's cool about these founder seats is that you can actually gift them. So you can give those seats to someone, anybody that you want, um, as long as you do it in the right way. And believe it or not, interestingly enough, this, um, this is possible for many, many different sports tickets. Also maybe it's like theater tickets, Anything where you have, have put some money into something to like reserve a spot for a long time, I believe you can often give those things away. Now, here's the great thing about today's video is um, you don't need to hire me to do any of the things that I'm gonna tell you. Um, at the beginning, at least, you can just make a couple of phone calls and you can find out. So if you are the owner of some of these kinds of tickets, you know, if you have made some sort of a you know, a gift or if you have, are, are part of a, some sort of an organization that, that has something that you um, specifically sort of have the opportunity to use and you want to see if you can gift that, I would look to two places. Place number one is if you signed any sort of agreement or pledge or anything like that, sometimes it will be in there if they thought of it. Um, the other thing that you can do is specifically um, call them and just ask them. You are probably not the first person who has done that before. Um, another important consideration when it comes to sports in particular, um, and in particular college athletics, I don't know if this has changed over time or not, but typically the way that college athletics gets people to donate money is that they get like points or they get status and it raises their ability to, or their priority in line for picking seats and all kinds of other stuff. Those points, those pledges that you've accumulated over time, sometimes with some schools, the schools that are nice, um, they will allow you to gift those points that you have accumulated over time to anyone that you want. I know this happens because I've seen it happen um, several times at several different institutions. I'm not gonna name them, although you probably can guess where they might be. Um, the reason I'm not gonna name them is because I don't know if their rules have changed, but again, if you are a huge, you know, college sports fan, you've been giving to your athletic department over time and you've been accumulating points and you can pick amazing seats and you get to go to cool events and stuff like that. Um, and you want to see if you can pass that on to your kids or to anybody that you want, then I would, um, I would call them and I would ask. They have definitely answered this question before. And if they, if you can, then as you create your estate plan, you're going to want to make sure that you work that in there in some way. For example, with the Seahawks, um, some specific language needed to be included in the estate plan that the Seahawks wanted to then see, like when the person died, to be able to transfer those tickets over in the right way. So if, if uh, you have these things, these issues, these, these uh, cool assets that you wanna make sure go to specific people, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you follow the rules correctly. Okay, that's it. So think about that. Um, if you if you're a member anywhere and you can you can potentially gift that status to somebody else, here's another place: country clubs. You know, sometimes you can do that. You can gift your country club membership to someone. If you can do that, you definitely want to do that because if if you're the type of place that can do that, you've definitely been dropping some cash on something like that. Okay, so this applies all over the place. Those are one of the things that I know because I play golf and I love sports. So I'm sure there are other places you can do this if that applies to you and you've made it this far because all we talked about is golf and sports although golf is a sport playing golf and watching sports then kudos to you okay um in any event that's it for today i hope you like this if you did hit the like button if you can 
Um, if you if you uh, can't subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And um, if you want to talk more, if you have specific questions about a state plan or probate for you, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, that's it for today. As always, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.